Hi guys and welcome to another Pick A Card reading. Today's reading is going to be what do you need to know right now. So I've got three piles to choose from. We have whale, raccoon and buffalo. So I'm just going to give you a minute to tune in and pick which one most resonates with you. Um, just bear in mind it's general, it won't resonate for everyone. Okay, so if you need more time, just pause the video and I'm going to start with whale. So if you chose whale, what do you need to know right now? Well, um, I feel like I should bow or something <laughs> because who are you? Why are you here? Tell me your story because this is just amazing. Um, okay. So I think this pile, first of all, we've got strong masculine energy. So this could be, um, this could be you if you resonate with a masculine energy or you could be dealing with one. Could be your own masculine energy, even if you feel like you're more feminine as well. So just bear that in mind. Okay. So this pile, you've been through a lot, I think. You've been, we've got the 10 of swords here, which is the only card that makes me kind of, you know, because 10 of swords is quite painful and it's a painful ending. I think there is a message here that you need to understand that the things, the experiences that you've gone through up to this point weren't in vain, that they were leading up to something. Maybe some of you have started to piece that together recently. And if not, then this is why you're here, right? To watch this reading, to understand that the experiences that you've had were prepping you for your purpose or for a bigger purpose. Um, you have a big purpose as well, can I just say. You have quite a big purpose and part of that purpose is leadership. You were made to be a leader. People were made to listen to you, to respect you, to follow you, right? Um, and I've been getting this, this energy a lot in my readings lately, which makes me like so proud. <laughs> so, so proud. Um... But yeah, I feel like you have a lot of power that's either about to be handed to you or it's been tucked away, hidden under the surface that you've never actually embraced within yourself. And so you've not actually seen that visibly take shape in the physical. Um, but it's coming. Now, I feel like what comes first though, because it feels like there's a bit of a transition happening at this point in time between you and yourself, where... There is a door closing, there is a chapter closing in your life with this Ten of Swords and it's a painful one. This chapter that you're closing currently in your life is the very reason why you didn't have access to your power and you need to understand this. You need to understand that whatever you're closing out right now has been the blockage. It's been the reason why you didn't have access to certain opportunities, why certain things weren't going your way. Energy is a thing, right? And a lot of people assume that if they just work hard, they'll get what they want, right? Not always the case. It really does depend. Obviously, it does help and it makes a difference, but it's not always the case. It does really come down to your energy within yourself, the people you surround yourself with, um, your mindset, your belief system. All of these things shape your reality. And there's been something in your life that has been very difficult and has been keeping you stuck. Like the 10 of swords is usually someone on the ground with 10 swords in their back. So you may have been betrayed several times over. Betrayal may have been a theme in your life. Um, and this was building up your resilience. Why? Because a leader needs resilience, right? A leader needs strength, they need they're going to be front of the line and who's going to get it, you know, the person at the front of the line. And so that person has to have resilience. They have to be adaptable. They have to be ready for just about anything. And that's the, not to put pressure on you, but that seems to be the role that you're about to play in your life. And you've been prepped for this for many years, I want to say, 
maybe for about 10 years, you might have been, um, so think about that period of time for you. I would say within the last 10 years is how is how long you've been prepped for this. So it's been a, a big build up. It's been a big build up for you. And it shaped you into this very strong, capable person, right? That's always been within you. It's always been there, just waiting, just waiting for the right moment. But you didn't have access to it because of what you were surrounding yourself with, what you were involving yourself in. You know, it's almost like by keeping this Ten of Swords lifestyle going, you were actually keeping the, the door locked. You had the key, but the key, it's, it's bittersweet, I think, because in order for you to gain access to your own power, you had to shut something else off. You had to close a door. Or that's what you're gonna have to do if you want access to your inner power and to these opportunities that want to become available to you. It's almost like, you know, by closing this one door, you're gonna see s several more open to you. And it's gonna be this realization, I think, that, wow, that was the reason. That was the reason why these things weren't available to me. There's been an energetic block as a result of your past. And I feel like it's coming to an end, right? That's not gonna last much longer. Now, peace is important here. I feel like um, leadership, I mean, there's a lot of stereotypes with leadership, right? Um, and I think something that you're supposed to bring to others is actually peace. Peace and compassion. The thing is, is to bring peace and compassion to other people, you first have to be able to give it to yourself. And I don't think up until this point, you've actually been able to do that properly because of maybe your surroundings, your belief system, your self-esteem. There could be many, many reasons, but I don't feel like you've actually been able to give yourself that. And so as, again, as a result, it's been difficult for you to step into that leadership position and give that to others because you you weren't able to give it to you first and that's what they were waiting for. Um, now, <laughs> one of the first things I heard when I uh, started your reading was, um, it was like something out of a movie, you know, when it's really dramatic and they say, this is only the beginning. <laughs> so it, it's quite dramatic, whatever this is, it could be a dramatic shift in your life and change to how you perceive the world, to how you face the world, to what you choose to have and not have in your life. There's a dramatic shift on its way. It's good. It's going to provide some emotional fulfillment for you in a way that I don't think you've ever felt before. Um, it's going to be like a, like a breath of fresh air, you know, you're just going to feel more you than you ever have in your life. Um, and it's because you're releasing yourself. It's like you're freeing yourself from your own prison. Um, and it's gonna feel really good. But I think there's still, I, f I wanna say there's still some sort of lingering, lingering energy that is trying to pull you backwards. Now again, free will, right? You can do what you wanna do. If you don't want this responsibility, you don't have to have it. Would you, do I think that you'll gain more opportunities if you take it? Yeah, I do. Because I think it's why you're here. <laughs> and I think it's what you've been prepping for subconsciously for many years. But you don't have to. It's up to you. You can go backwards. You can stay put where you are. You can do whatever you want to do. I just think that certain things will be restricted and limited from you if you choose to stay put, right? If you choose to just have what you already have, which may be enough for you, and in which case that's fine. But I struggle to believe that that is the case <laughs> for many of you. Um, <laughs> I think you've been waiting for this moment to kind of make a splash, you know, 
to make your mark on the world. I think you've been waiting for this moment and I think it's it's here. It's it's either here or it's about to be. It's very, very close, but requires an ending. It's almost like it comes after the Ten of Swords. It requires some sort of uh, finalization, um, which may mean that, you know, <laughs> think about it, right? This ending could be quite difficult for you, which in itself requires power. It requires bravery which could be the first, it, that's the key to the lock, because you are making that bold move to leave behind something that's been quite painful for you. And then it's like the universe goes, now he's ready, or now she's ready, right? Or now they're ready. Because it feels male to me, but again, this could be your inner masculine. It's masculine regardless, whether you're female or male. My God, the tower. <laughs> yeah, this is like, I've arrived. <laughs> this is, it's almost like, this is your opportunity to really live your life as yourself in a way that you never have done before. And it's, it's a lot. It's amazing, but it's a lot. So I think that right now there is something about you maybe savoring your energy or maybe finding that peace within yourself or within your life or just gearing up, but in a way that may not look like gearing up. It may look like slowing down because <laughs> of you may just be resting or just uh, focusing on self-care or healing or something. But all of these things, there may just be a, a bit of you that just knows that something is about to shift something's about to change and you're not wrong if you've been feeling that way you're right about that um <clears throat> i think you had to first understand and accept that you were more than capable of taking this on i think you had to believe it yourself first you know you had to believe in your own power you had to believe in your own capabilities before you were able to unlock this door and I just don't think you were ready for that in the past. I think you were still doubting yourself and maybe to some degree you still are, but it feels like, like it's something that's moving away, that's getting out of your way now. And again, these old foundations that have been acting as blocks, they're, they're crumbling now. Wow, we've got the King of Wands and the Star my god yes so this is this is all power this is just i just think you've got a big purpose and i think you know that i think you sense it you may not know exactly what it is or exactly how you're going to go about it but i think you know it i think you know it and i think you're about ready to embrace it but you know you may have resisted it in the past you may have pushed it away I think you're getting your optimism back as well and your hope back. Oh, this is something that's going to happen. And look at this, it's got the nine of cups and the star. That's like wish fulfillment. <laughs> so whatever you want, I feel like it's it's yours if you claim it, right? But that's the thing, you gotta claim it. You gotta claim it, otherwise it won't be yours. And to claim it, that might mean a 10 of swords moment. Um because you have to make room for this, right? You have to make room for this. Yeah, I just, I see you moving to a much, um, it's, you're moving into quite a powerful time. I'm not gonna lie to you, quite a powerful time. Um, quite magical though, as well. I think, Hmm. I think, I, I don't know, I just feel like you're going to step into your power and I think that you're just going to go for it. And I think that it's about time as well. But you've got this Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords over here and the Queen of Cups. I think that there's been this place inside your mind that you've always tapped into to... Um, 
feel a sense of peace or feel a sense of empowerment one or the other like there's there's been somewhere that you've drifted to in moments when you've needed that and I feel like um whatever wh wherever that is for you I feel like that's about to almost be projected outwards so it's not going to just be in your mind anymore it's going to be external um you're going to be living the thing that empowers you and makes you feel calm does that make sense um because I think it's you know it's been in your mind and it's helped you this far but you've grown so it's almost like there's just this realization of how much you've grown you've grown so much that now you can handle it on your own now you don't need that place inside your mind anymore you can just pull from your own resources and make that place inside your mind your reality so <laughs> i don't know i just think there's some exciting stuff happening And again, I feel like in, I don't, there's, there's a peaceful energy and then there's like an empowered energy and they're kind of working side by side or trying to work side by side. Now, have I already said this? I'm not sure I've already said this or not. I don't think I have. So I heard great power, with great power comes great responsibility, which is obviously a really famous saying. Um... And it makes me smile whenever I hear that because my granddad used to say that to me like a few years ago, he said it to me. And um, even though it's common and I'd heard it before, it's just stuck with me. It's stuck with me. It's something I always go back to. And I'm now like passing it on, passing it on. Why am I passing it on? Because there is a bit of a, um, I'm not going to say a warning because that sounds way too extreme, <laughs> but I said it anyway. Um, when you gain more power, as you gain more power, as you really embrace who you are, if that's what you choose, obviously it's your choice, the more powerful you become, it's important that you remain conscious. Basically, don't start abusing your power, right? Because it's very easy. You don't have to be a bad person to abuse your power. I think that it can happen to the best of us, right? Very normal, stable, lovely people set off on a road towards success and somewhere along the way, it taints them. And I think that you're being asked to stay conscious, to stay grounded, to not let power... Um, change who you are as an individual keep reminding yourself where you came from who you are why you're doing this you know what it is that you want and what what it is that you know what your intentions are and what your intentions have always been keep bringing yourself back to that point the more you grow that way you won't lose yourself um, I feel like there is a bit of a side message there because it could be very easy with all this energy and the position that you might end up being in. It might be very easy for you to fall into that trap, you know? So you're being asked to just remind yourself, just check in with yourself sometimes and make sure that you're still you, right? Yeah, so much masculine energy. We just got the King of Swords. The Knight of Wands that's just flung itself over there for some reason. And the Seven of Wands, yeah, okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, there is something about peace. I think something about listening to your own thoughts as well. There could have been people that have tried to talk you out of things in your past. Um, you know, other people's thoughts have become your own thoughts and it meant that you went down certain roads that you look back on now and you might think, why did I do that? <laughs> that wasn't even what I wanted. But maybe other people told you it was a good idea or other people said you should do this and you shouldn't do that. And you really listened and absorbed that as though it's what you wanted. And I feel like there's something about with this King of Swords, I just kind of get the impression that there's something about you being alone in the quiet, 
that's just going to allow yourself to understand that maybe you didn't make certain decisions or you did make certain decisions because of other people and it wasn't actually what you wanted or what you um, desired. Yeah, I think you're going to have to stand your ground. Seven of Wands, you're going to have to stand your ground. Um, again, with great power comes great responsibility, right? And there's going to be some people that won't agree with the decisions that you make in how you move forward. But if you get clear, or if you become clear, you're going to have to really fight for it, you know? Yeah. Three of Pentacles, you're building. There's something that you're about to kind of uh, step onto the scene, I want to say, <laughs> um, as a brand new person though. As a brand new person with a brand new energy. And again, you might not be quite there yet and that's okay, that's fine if that's the case. Um, it may be, if you're not quite there, it may either be because you're healing from an ending or you've not ended what's blocking you. And that's why it's still not happening for you, if that's the case, you know. So have a think about what that might be. Um, your advice is Dove Spirit. And it says, be peace. With her peaceful cooing, the gentle Dove Spirit invites you to embrace the energy of peace and allow compassion to warm your heart. You always have the power to generate peace within you. And the appearance of Dove, Dove Spirit is a reminder that today and every day is a good day to meditate, to quiet any turbulence within you as you embody tranquility. Above, below, and all around you, much may be happening to distract you. I think that's other people. Why do I think that's other people? But you are called to engage it with the heart of a peacemaker, asking yourself, what would peace do? Can you agree to disagree? The peace you seek rises within and spreads out onto the world as spirit sends her messenger to remind you of the beauty of a harmonious existence with all that is. How beautiful and powerful is your compassionate heart? Yeah, that's what I mean. That you've got like amazing energy because it's, you've got this big, loving, warm heart, but then this very strong, powerful side as well. And you put those two things together. I mean, magic, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave it there, guys, but I really hope that was helpful. Um, I hope you all have a good day. And I'm going to move on to, what am I on? Raccoon. Okay, so if you chose a raccoon, got some exciting piles today. I don't know what's happening with everyone, but something good. Okay. <laughs> now, yours is all about relationships. It's There's just no other way to look at it. In this case, in this context, there's just no other way. So here's what I want to say about yours is that there is a very passionate connection in your life. Now, this passionate connection may not have been acted on yet. It may actually be hidden. It may be stagnant. The reason why I say that is because you've got the moon and the hanged man, but these were the clarifiers. So some of you haven't actually been together with this person or you're not together with this person, but there is a very passionate connection between you and someone else, like a very strong pull that seems to go beyond the norm, right, with the moon. It seems to go beyond the norm. It's not your traditional connection. Um, I do think that you're actually separated I feel like you could be in two different places, but it's like you're two sides of the same coin. There's a bit of yin yang energy going on. Look at these two wolves, right? On opposite sides of um, the ocean or the lake, looking up to the moon. So you and this person may actually have a connection to the moon um, somehow. You may be influenced by the moon quite a lot, but there's something very hidden. The moon is hidden. Raccoon is hidden, right? And then we also have unawakened, which is a bit, you know, it's a bit dark and uh, in the shadows. I 
it's like, um, I want to say untapped potential, but in terms of a relationship, does that make sense? It's like, it's not someone's untapped potential within a work situation. This is a relationship that has a lot of potential, but hasn't been acted upon or hasn't had a chance, but it's there. Why do I say this? Why am I so convinced? Um, <laughs> got the Ace of Wands, the lovers and loving. So I'm gonna, yeah, there's, there's just no other way to look at this. So I feel like, first of all, I think something's mutual. I don't think this is one-sided. I don't think this is one of them situations where one person feels it and the other person doesn't. I think this is very much mutual. And I think it's very intense. I don't think it's subtle. I don't think that, you know, it's, it's well hidden. It's well hidden in terms of the feelings are being suppressed, it's not being expressed, there's no movement right now, but the energy isn't subtle between the two of you. It's very, very powerful, actually. I think there's a lot of fantasizing going on. I'm just gonna throw that out there. And um, imagining and maybe wishing, longing, that type of thing, especially with that Ace of Wands, right? this fire is on the third eye. So spiritual connection, right? There's an intense spiritual connection between you and another person, which there's, I mean, these are major arcanas as well. The lovers, the hanged man, the moon, this is huge. <laughs> um, so it's undeniable. There's something kind of undeniable about this. You both know it, you both feel it, but yet you both can't get to each other for some reason. I don't know why that is, but you both can't get to each other. It's like, um, again, all the feelings are suppressed, but it's there, the connection is there. I think you care deeply about each other as well, but this, at the minute, at least the way the energy is, it's a very strong attraction and strong passion. It could be acted upon soon, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because I think it's kind of overwhelming. Like the energy is becoming too strong. It's becoming a little bit too difficult to deny or too difficult to hide. Um, yeah, I feel like other, maybe other people around the two of you don't know this is going on or don't have the awareness of what's happening but the two of you know because of you have a spiritual you know you have like a spiritual tie so there's like this almost like a telepathic link that just you know <laughs> you know but you're not talking about it which is keeping things stuck and stagnant yeah someone's going to act on this soon right <laughs> This connection makes someone want to do stupid things with the fool, but also just wants, makes someone want to take a leap of faith because of how strong it is, because of how intense and it can't be, you know, it's like, this is not something that you can just put to the side. I think that's what has been happening for a while. Maybe you didn't have a choice, but I feel like it's become too strong to keep putting to the side, you know, and keep pushing away. It's just there <laughs> and it's kind of growing in strength. Um, yeah, <laughs> two of swords in reverse. This is a decision that's been made. I feel like there's certainty. This is usually confusion, right? This is confusion. This is, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know how I feel. I don't know what to do. This is like, nope, I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly how I feel. I know exactly what I want. It's just, so what is the blockage? Because I'm kind of just looking at this spread going, what is the problem? Because you've clearly got two people here who are mad about each other the feelings are strong, they're intense, it's a spiritual connection. You're linked, you're tied to each other, but there's no movement. And I'm just like, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> makes no sense to me. 
just as I say, there's no movement, the eight of wands flips out. So there's gonna be movement. Oh yeah, the sun. So this connection's coming together. That's what you need to know, is this connection. If, you, if that's what you want, if you want to make something happen with someone, if you want to tell someone how you feel, if you want to um, know just what the potential here is. I mean, I'm gonna, for those that resonate with it, there's a lot of potential and it looks really promising to me that um, action is gonna be taken, that this is gonna come together because it can't be denied anymore, right? But I'm gonna clarify the hanged man because um, that's obviously stagnation. But it's also a perspective, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. This interference, outside interference, 100%. Now this could be third party or this could be just other people, again, getting in the way or you know, other people not agreeing with this. We've got the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands. I feel like, yeah, there's been external uh, input here that has been, um, I almost wanna say it has been trying to put the fire out. You see that? Like other people have been trying to, this could be Twin Flames. Now that, shouldn't be so surprising given everything I've just said, but the reason why I'm saying that is because look, they're literally trying to put a flame out. Now, there's something about twin flames and I don't know why this happens entirely other than twin flames emit a very positive, bright energy, particularly when together, right? They just do, they kind of light up a space or light up a room. And there's subconsciously, most of the time, people are kind of almost programmed to try and put that out in some way or try and sabotage that. That's what's happening here is that there's people interfering. It doesn't have to be twin flames, but either way you look at this, people, there's people in this situation that are trying to put the flame out. They're trying to put the flame out because it's, well, whatever the reason, does it matter what the reason is? The point is they're doing something they shouldn't be doing, you know? They're trying to sabotage something that they shouldn't really be involving themselves in or... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this might be why there's been, um, this has been kept secret or this has been kept uh, private because I think that, you know, out of protection, out of protection to not have this situation be completely sabotaged. This connection's leading to something quite uh, significant. Something quite significant. This is kind of, this is one of them connections that I think changes your life one way or another. Um, but I think, um, what you need to know is that potentially there's still some external input that is blocking this from really coming together. Which could be coming from your side or this person's side, just apply that as it resonates, but there's definitely some interference. Some of you might dream of each other a lot as well. There might be prominent dreams that you have. These dreams might actually be premonitions just gonna throw that out there. It happens more than you might think. Yeah, definitely through sleep. <laughs> Four of swords, definitely through sleep. You connect through sleep. Um, Page of cups as well. Yeah, you. it's like you, you have this connection where you just know what's going on with the other person or you can just sense it or you can just you you can communicate without communicating. It's possible between the two of you and you might have been doing that whether you realize it or not, particularly in the dream state. But yeah, there's been, um, there's been some, 
If you've been dreaming about this person recently, I feel like um, there may have been some revelations in terms of feelings or, and that could be happening because that's what's coming up. <laughs> yeah, King of Cups with the wheel or the wheel of fortune, right? So time, time. I don't want to say it. Don't make me say it. <laughs> Divine timing, right? So the King of Cups with the wheel. It's There's going to be a revela revelation of feelings, but it's going to happen at a certain time. That's been a common message I've had for like the last 24 hours because I got it in um, the reading on Instagram last night as well. King of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be communication. Again, there could be multiple people involved or there could be a choice that needs to be made here between one relationship and another. One relationship here is extremely intense though and can't be denied. Um, and it's being hidden away. Yeah, somewhat, okay. Someone's about to follow their heart, not their head as well. So if someone's been following their, their uh, head it could have led them down the wrong path because they were focusing too much on logic and not enough on um, what their feelings were telling them or what they their feelings were telling them they wanted. I feel like that's something that's changing as well. Someone's learning how to do that more now. Still keeping their feelings to themselves though, or you're still keeping your feelings to, to yourself. Yeah. I see also someone is um, working on their finances before making this transition or making this change or making this move. There's interference. There is interference, I'm telling you. Interference in terms of people's judgments, opinions, ideas of what they feel should be happening here could be getting in the way and that could have blocked you both. But the thing is, is that you both know because something that other people can't mess with is the telepathy, right? Other people can't mess with that because they don't know what's happening. So again, this very much seems to be a connection that's not manifested in the physical yet not entirely anyway. There's been block after block after block. I feel like the more <laughs> the more time that goes by, the more intense this connection becomes or the energy becomes to do something about this. Strength, right? This is like one hell of a connection that is going to ground itself in the physical, I think. It's going to ground itself in the physical, but it's slow. With that Three of Pentacles, it's, it's slow to um, build up for some reason. And that could be, again, um, could be circumstantial. It could be purposeful blocks, you know? The sun, again, this is a really nice connection though. This is not something that should be, I mean, obviously only take this if it feels right to you, but I just think it's just not the kind of connection that should be let go of because it's, it's so bright. It's so bright and it's so fiery yet loving. And that's rare, <laughs> that is rare. Yeah, I think this is hard for you both because I think that there's some sort of separation between the two of you, maybe to do some shadow work, right? So if things if things are being triggered within um, within both parties right now, oh God, that's uh, half the deck on the floor, um, then understand that this is why this period of separation is happening so you can work through these blocks within yourselves before actually trying to manifest this in the physical. Yeah.
Yeah, this connection is going to move forward. <laughs> right, it's going to move forward. I don't even know why you're watching this reading because you probably already know this. This is probably just confirmation from most of you, you know, of what you already know to be true. Yeah, fulfilled, like makes you happy, puts you at peace, right? Brings you joy and laughter and happiness. So there's really, um, that's really all there is to say is that if you've been feeling a connection with someone, you're not imagining it. It's very much there. It's prominent in your life. It's, um, where is the card? It's in your life for a big purpose and a big reason. And if things have been confusing between the two of you, I feel like that's going to be cleared up before you know it. I think this is something that's around the corner or something that um, isn't too far off in the future. You just have to not let outside interference get in the way, which may be easier said than done. Okay, so your advice is give with gratitude and grace. Turkey Spirit's message for you is that you always have the potential for manifesting a rich reality. For the turkey represents generosity and a celebration of abundance through giving to others. Give freely without expectation and you shall receive. For the manifestation of abundance is happening right now align with it by sharing your good fortune with others whether you give money loving guidance the gift of listening or kindness in any form immerse yourself in the flow of generous abundance being a channel for turkey spirit and the desire of spirit to see all beings experience the blessing of plenty give with gratitude and grace from a wellspring of love and compassion knowing that spirit will respond by giving you all you need in this moment and all moments to come so someone's gonna have to give here is the way I'm reading that given the context that it's in someone's gonna have to give um of their emotions right and give be more open and expressive and I feel like it chances are it's going to be reciprocated here I don't really see I don't really see it going any other direction um but I feel like it's a mutual, it's mutually beneficial. I think there's give and take. It's a balanced connection, right? Okay then, so I'm gonna move on to Buffalo. So what do you need to know? Okay, so. Hmm. I feel I feel like you need to be reminded that you have the power to choose who you allow into your space and your life. You may have forgotten this or you may be telling yourself that there isn't anything that you can do, that you're stuck in certain uh, circumstances and situations that you can't do anything about, that maybe... I don't know, that maybe uh, look good on the surface, but there's a lot of issues underneath the surface, right? Hidden in the background. I kind of feel like... I feel like some of you might need to ask other people for help more. That's also been a common message in my readings lately, to ask for more help. But it could also be, you know to make sure that if you're wanting to create the 10 of cups, I'm almost getting this feeling of, are you creating it with the right people? It's almost like you have, you might have an idea in your mind of what you want your future to be like, or what you want your future to look like, or um, where you're going in life, but you might be trying to make it happen with people that don't align with the same picture that you have in your head, in which case, are you trying to create a future? Is it like right future, wrong people? Or is it right people, wrong future? Like something's got to give, I want to say. Something's got to give because I feel like the future that you want to create, you might not be able to create with certain people that you have in your space. And there may need to be some adjustments made to either the future that you have decided you want for yourself or the people 
But either way, something's got to give because putting these two things together don't seem to be working. Yeah, there's resting here as well. There's something about you healing, temperance with the Four of Swords. There's something about you healing, taking some time out. I'm kind of getting this feeling of I don't belong here. I don't belong here. This is not where I should be or this is not what I should be doing. But there's nothing I can do to change it. There's, you know, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do to get myself out of this circumstance. Yeah, five of cups. So some of you may feel like you've um, got yourself stuck in something. Um, you know, that isn't really bringing you the most fulfillment. But again, it's like being needing to be reminded of your own power and your own ability to make choices for yourself. And if you want things to change, you can make that change happen. It's just, it might be difficult. And sometimes we perceive making changes as, you know, we might deem them as being impossible when actually we, what we mean is it's difficult to make that decision. It's difficult to take that action, but it's not impossible. It's just hard work. It's gonna require some hard work from me, which I'm not sure I'm able to give right now. It's almost like you might be in one place wanting another place. You might be, you might be, you know what I think? I think that you might actually be imagining that you're somewhere else from where you currently are because where you currently are isn't providing you that sense of fulfillment. And so you're kind of imagining a different situation, something that feels, you know, better. Or you might be putting on a show. Some of you might be putting on a bit of a show as well pretending that you're okay and comfortable and happy, but behind the scenes, you feel like something's missing. You feel like something's not, you know, not right. some of you, uh, I almost get the feeling like you're trying to find an out or you're trying to, you're trying to get out of a circumstance or you're trying to remove cer certain, um, I don't know, certain, um, what's the word? So maybe just certain people from your life or cer certain situations from your life. You're just trying to remove them and start over, but you might be doing it privately and you might be doing it secretly. Um, I think you need help in what you're trying to create though as well. I think you need help in terms of what, what you're trying to build for yourself. You might be trying to do everything on your own and you need to let someone in on what you're trying to do so that you can, you know, it makes it a bit easier for you. It makes it a bit more smooth sailing. You might have been spending a lot of time by yourself as well. This could be another thing. Maybe you're wanting to create the Ten of Cups type of environment for yourself, you know, um, a happy family or just emotional fulfillment and whatever that means to you. You're trying to create this, this picture that you have in your mind, but in terms of what you might be doing about it, we've got Temperance and the Four of Swords, which is more about resting and not taking action and feeling like then you're a victim to circumstance and feeling quite disappointed with your surroundings. But actually what's necessary and what's needed is more action from you to change the situation, to take a few more chances to turn things around, to be willing to let someone in. You might be very good at closing other people out of your, your, uh, your bubble, right? You might be very good at, um, keeping people at arm's length and not letting people get close to you. And that could be a reason why you end up by yourself is because you keep them over there and you're being encouraged to let people in a little bit more and let people get closer to you.
Yeah, I think you're quite independent and I think this is the thing. You might be quite independent people and, you know, but yet what you're craving is social interaction. What you're craving is groups of people, being around people and making memories with people, but yet you're kind of isolated. But I think that what's necessary is that you, you need to allow this to happen before it can happen. And I think that's the point is that I don't think you have been not to the full extent. You might have been letting people in a little bit, but there's still been a big guard up there that's prevented people from getting close to you. <laughs> I can kind of see, um, can see someone who Mm. yeah it's like I feel like someone feels like they're not living to their fullest potential or they're not experiencing life to its fullest potential you know that there's so much more for them to experience but they're not it's like they're stuck inside it could be due to lockdown as well um you know that experiences are very limited and someone could be really feeling that right now um, or someone's old life, someone's typical way of going about things and living their life is just not, it's not doing it for them now. They want more from life. Someone wants more from life here, but they need to let themselves have it. And I think that's the point is that someone's actually been denying themselves permission to have more experiences and telling themselves it's actually because, you know, of this restriction and that restriction, when their biggest restriction is actually themselves. Because they won't, they won't let themselves have these experiences. They won't let people in. They won't let people get close. Even though that's what they want. This may also be a situation as well where you you look at other people having the experiences that you want to have but you again it's like you won't you won't take action to build that for yourself or you tell yourself you can't but i think that you i think what you need to know is that you're meant to go into this next chapter with some sort of collaboration you're meant to be working in some sort of partnership with someone who's very much like you because your advice is ant spirit right but they're very similar almost like mirror a mirrored version right and i kind of feel like this is the point is that you're meant to be in some sort of collaboration with someone but i kind of feel like some of you aren't letting it come together or you're not letting this person collaborate with you or you're not letting other people try there's still a wall up there's still a wall up around you yeah i think some of you are afraid of getting hurt three of swords you're afraid of getting hurt you're afraid of letting people in and then feeling more pain as a result of that Some of you are scared, some of you lack trust, I think, in other people. You lack trust that people are gonna stay loyal, that people are gonna stay true, true, try again, <laughs> true to you. Um, <clears throat> you may have experienced people in the past that were quite flaky or quite inconsistent or people that, um, maybe kept their options open or made you feel not good enough or messed with your self-esteem in some sort of sense. And this has made you lack trust. It's made you shut the world out to some degree, you know, and made you only rely on yourself and only depend on you. And even though you want more than that now, it's, are you doing something to make that happen? Or are you just telling yourself that you're stuck? when really I think what's going on is that you're afraid to be disappointed again. Ooh. Yeah, you're afraid of being abandoned or left out in the cold. Um, you may have experienced again a lot of that. It may have some triggers coming up here 
when it comes to abandonment issues and this is why you keep people at arm's length because at least then you know if they if you don't allow them in and you don't allow them to get close then they can't hurt you regardless of what they choose to do so i feel like it's time for you to really first of all really understand where these fears are coming from if you have them this pain this wound that's maybe blocking you from going after creating the life that you want to live in relation to other people i think it's time to collaborate it's time to allow other people in and allow people to help you because again I, I feel like you're meant to at this point in time you're meant to be a uh, it could be that someone new is coming in as well because it's number one, Ant Spirit. So when Ant Spirit comes to visit, it's to celebrate the benefits of working in a partnership with others as part of a community or tribe. Spirit reminds you that to build your dream, you need to work with others, accept help <laughs> and trust in your most important partnership, the one you have with Spirit. Your intentions will come to fruition if you remain awake and focused on co-creating your reality with others and with Spirit. Remember that the world around you can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice of, or some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build the life you desire. Connecting with others and having accountability partners can be very helpful as it's unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message Ant Spirit holds is that you are now at an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it. <laughs> Whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or requesting assistance from others who are there for you, everything is working to support you right now. Yeah, so I feel like even in moments where you might feel like that there is a lack of support, I think that that's just because you've maybe not asked for it, or you've not fully embraced it if it's been offered to you. You may not have recognized it when it's been offered to you as well, so really keep your eyes peeled. But I feel like the support is there and it's time for you to receive that level of support from others and to not do everything on your own. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, guys, but I hope you all have a good day and I will speak to you soon. Bye.